What's up guys? Today we're gonna to go through a very simple nine minute abdominal training program designed for rugby players. We're gonna do it by using three different movements, a plank, a hollow hold, and then a series of knee touches, bringing your knee up into your chest to simulate running or sprinting movements. Okay, we're gonna go through each one of these holds or movements for one minute, and the whole program would be to do each of these things three times in succession. Three by three, nine minute program, okay? The only thing you need to do this is a stopwatch. Let's get started right now. The first movement is a plank hold. Start your watch and get down. When you're doing your plank hold, you really wanna focus on trying to tense everything in your whole body. The critical thing about uh, abdominal exercises generally is that doing a lot of repeti repetitions is not necessarily as useful as having a lot of time under tension. So if you're flexing everything incredibly hard, trying to stay really stiff, trying to use your quads, trying to activate your core and your ass, trying to get everything really, really tense, that's gonna be more useful to you than doing a whole bunch of sit-ups, for example. The time under tension, again, is what's really critical here. So don't drop your butt too down, down too far. Don't get it up too high. Try and breathe deeply. Try and focus on keeping a very, very stiff body the whole way through your plank hold. We're almost at a minute now. Five, four, three, two, one. A second movement is called what's a hollow hold. A hollow hold involves laying down, doing a small crunch, bringing your feet up in front of you into a flex position, bringing your core off the ground so that your lower back is on the ground and pressed into the ground as hard as possible. And then if you can, bring your hands above your head, try and reach up to the sky and even look towards them as well, maintaining that flex body position. You'll see that when we get into this position, we have a bit of a crescent shape in our body. That's really what we're trying to go for here. This is very useful if you're a line out jumper, for example, because it gives you the ability to create a strong body position, which you're gonna hold in the air through your line out jump. We're almost done here. Three, two, one, okay. Last thing, last of our three movements, form a push-up position. From this position, bring your knee into your chest, and then on the other side, repeat. The key thing that you wanna keep in mind here is again, activating your core, but also maintaining a dorsiflex in your ankle. So at no point should I be doing this with my foot. Okay, not this, this. All the time dorsiflexion. Really using your abdominals to help drive your knee up and then put it back down. Don't rest your foot on the ground when you step up. Keep it in the air. Flex your core, push it back down. Flex your core, push it back down. Step down. There you are folks. That's three minutes. Again, you wanna go three by three. So do that all three times. Nine minute ab workout. You can do this after every uh, gym session that you do. Thanks very much.